But here I am in the organ pipes, and here we have the geological information. We have the sedimentation, that occurred 420 million years ago. And 360 million years ago, we had some granite intrusion, molten rock, major part tectonic uplift. Then, over many millions of years, it was eroded. And the granite was protruding because it's been eroded. Then, see, we had 360 million years roughly of nothing. And then we had some volcanoes, spewed rock, and covered the area with lava. And that's what we have now is the organ pipes. So here, this is all just basalt, lots of basalt, and this is probably, I don't know, 500 meters thick, I don't know, and it's all been eroded by the river, and I forgot my microphone, so, speaking to the camera, and you can see a lot of uh, basalt sticking out of the ground. And if you look down here, you can see the basalt. It's lots of basalt. So down below there, you probably get the sedimentary rock. The Silurian sedimentary rock was laid down 400 million years ago. That's quite a nice place. Look at all the basalt. And here we have some basalt. Looks like it's uh, there's a plane like strike and dip of that. Can't really measure it, but it looks very interesting. Looks like a sedimentary rock instead of a basalt. And it's very, well, it's pretty hard. It's also very fractured as well. So, it comes out very easily. And this is the columnar basalt that you can see in front of me. We're going to see this today. And 
it's actually quite thick. So if you go up there, I don't believe there's any columnar basalt up there. It's just mainly in this lower part region. And it probably does occur here, but it's all bit eroded. And here we had the columna basalt. So with the columna basalt, as you see up the top there, so this is the top section. Up here, we don't have any of the basalt columns, and it's very interesting because that, that lava up the top is the youngest, and here is the oldest, but all these are formed. So all these are formed over different eruptions, so this is probably not just one big eruption like that. It okay, so this is just not one big eruption, it's probably various different stages of the actual lava being flowed down. And I'd say when it cools down, it's just followed the previous eruptions in their cooling and just form one great big columnar basalt. And there's too many people here today for my liking. And if we go over this way and up, there is no columnar basalt over this way, and neither is there any over this way. So this is how it was formed. So we have the stream bed filled with lava. Lava cooled slowly. Formed the basalt columns. And here's the basalt columns. Further shrinking caused the cracks to develop. Then it's been eroded. And here's some information. So they're about 70 meters thick. And over a million years since the lava flowed in Jackson Creek. So this is Jackson Creek. Was that way?
so based on the way the curve is in the lava lava is most likely that way so this is the lower point that's the higher point so it's pretty standard physics this is quite a nice place to visit you should come and visit if you can As we see from the columnar basalts, they end pretty much here. And over here we have some more basalt, uh, but there's no columnar jointing, as well as over there. Quite nice, and if we go this way, then the river, it actually finishes. So anyway, with the basalt, we had the basalt here, and over here you see some yellow rock. That's the Silurian 420 million year old rock. And as you can see, the basalt, and that's right next to each other, it's pretty much the same thickness. So it indicates that all that rock's been eroded over, over here, and replaced with basalt, but over there it's not been eroded, so it's very interesting. So here we have the Silurian sedimentary rock, then we have some basalt up there, and the basalt the sedimentary rock ends around about here, and it's just been eroded, so it's very interesting. And you can see, striking dips about 45, 50 degrees, and it's been heavily Okay, so this is about, so we've got 45 degrees, probably about 50 or 60 degrees, and it's been heavily bolted, folded, and also tilted as well. So it looks like we're going into a, uh, a syncline, anticline structure. So this is, syncline's roughly about here, probably goes somewhere there. Probably even under the actual ground, most likely. And the anticline is uh, probably been eroded. So that's very interesting. Let's move down.
So as you can see from where I am, uh, there's pretty much no rock, there's some basalt over there. Some basalt, that's about it, most of it's just soil. There you go, man. And lots of weeds. Pops over there. Go that way. Huh? Go that way. You can't go this way. I can. So in this section, we have the columns going up and down, and then they start to take on a closer to a 45 degree angle. Right, right here is 45 degrees. Very interesting. Up the top, right at this part, we do have some columns that are trying to form. So we've got thick ones, uh, but they are not very thick. They start at about, where am I? So about there, and they go up to that big formation there. Over here was no basalt columns at all. But this is very interesting, this national park. And... Here we have the thick columns, and you can see how they've been fractured. So these pretty much, when they rip, 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 Sorry, tongue-tied, weathered out. They weather in between the fractures first and then they pretty much just fall down. And they weather in the sedimentary formation there. And here we have the river. So this probably does have columns in it, what's left of them. Very interesting. Same colour as the 
Oh, the door, man. Oh, oh. Which way? Okay. Half up there. Here we have the Tesla pavement and this is basalt, basalt columns, let's see, oh, sort of like basalt columns anyway. It's been eroded. So here I'm at the Tesla pavements and this one is basalt columns, you can see the columnar uh, there's no real one geometric pattern they have. They have lots of patterns. You can see they stick out because it's differential erosion. And if you look up here, it's a lot over there. Turn it around. A lot of tessellated pavements over that way. And if we go down to the river. So you can see in this column, it's actually quite big. It's probably about 50 centimeters wide. And then you've got another one next to it, it's smaller. So that one's only probably about 20, 30 centimeters wide. And you can see how it's eroding. So differential erosion. So this has been fractured here and it's been eroding as well. You can see it has a lot of fractures. But it depends on how fractured the rock, rock is. Like some of them are only partially fractured. With it, fracture only goes through part of the rock. Some of it's all the way through. So I think it's all the way through. Most likely is. Can't see behind it. And you can see the actual column. So that's what's left of the column. Another column here. So, that is very interesting. And if we keep on walking over. So this is on both sides of the creek. But the other side's covered in grass and soil. So you can't see it. And you can see the actual shape of the columns here. So I've got one column, two... You can see this column, 
Uh, a lot of them you might distinct dis distinct basalts. So this is uh differential flow. So you probably got this part here is different flow from that part, and then you go down different parts. So this is about two and a half to three million year old basalt. Very interesting. I like it. So if you ever come to Organ not Organ Pipes National Park, this is a place to go to. So So here I am, you can see the actual columns sticking out of the rock. So up close it doesn't give it a striking appearance as when uh, you're far away you can actually see them quite separate but go up closer you can see the different basalt, definitely basalt. You can see the fractures in the rock. You can also see the back fractures in the, in the actual columns, as we said before. Quite nice. And I just want to know if you can see the different flows in the actual rock. It's hard to tell that from the actual fractures, but what you need to look for is vesicles. And, yeah, that's probably the only way you can tell. And this is probably going to fall sooner or later. So probably best to keep away. Hmm. 